In this video, I'm gonna be giving a quick overview to keyword targeting in Google Ads, and then I'm gonna follow that up with going over each of the different keyword match types, negative keywords, and then kind of a quick overview of keyword match types in general. So if you need some help with keyword targeting, this is the video tutorial for you. Let's get started in our campaign. The main thing when it comes to keyword targeting that I try to do is I try to match keywords and I put them in specific ad groups based on the landing pages where I'm sending traffic to. So if I have a pool company and I do cleaning, maintenance, repairs, whatever, it may be and I have some of my different services up here you don't want to put all your keywords into one ad group and essentially send everybody to your home page you're just not going to see good results doing that you want to make sure you have a very smart keyword structure and you're targeting the right search intent keywords to actually drive conversions for your business so we have conversion tracking set up already within our search campaign so what I want now is for people to come to my website and obviously this is not a real business but you can see the 555 number up here um, but I want people to come to my website and either send me an email. I want them to call me directly, whether they're typing this number in, whether they're clicking on this number, contact us form. So I want them to take advantage of one of our call to actions here. It helps to have the call to action on the page as well. But one of my services is pool cleaning. So when you're doing this, what I always recommend is you really want to get as targeted as you possibly can. If we just come over to Google really quick. And I just do a search, pool cleaning, and you can see service, robot, near me, equipment, supplies, tools. A lot of these, when it comes to search intent, have nothing to do with somebody who wants a service. So equipment, supplies, tools, and robot. Those are all people that likely own a pool or a pool service company, and they are looking for supplies for their company. They're looking for equipment for their person is looking for somebody to come and clean their pool because they don't want to clean their pool themselves. They don't want to purchase a pool cleaning robot. They don't want to deal with any of it. They want somebody to show up their house once a week, once every other week, do some cleaning, do some maintenance, make sure all the chemicals look good and they send them on their merry way, pay them whatever they pay them for that service. So that is ultimately what you're looking for when it comes to search intent. You can see my landing page down here as well. Uh, but if you just do a search sometimes for pool cleaning, and I would highly recommend doing this, see what is actually showing up here. A lot of these, these are local services ads. And then down here, we have some additional advertisements. I can promise you just based on everything I know about at Google ads that these clicks are just not going to convert as well. Even if you do have a lot of search volume in the United States, these clicks are not going to convert as well because there's going to be people looking for tips and videos and DIY and how to do pool cleaning and you know pool cleaning equipment, pool cleaning supplies. So I also like using Keyword Surfer because you can see some of these keywords over here as well. Not only does it help you understand, okay, these are some of the different ways people are searching for this, but it also helps you kind of say, let me add robot, robotic, and some of these different types of keywords as negative keywords so that we make sure we're staying as targeted as possible. Even here, the very first thing under pool cleaning. So we do have this PhDs, pool specialists, maintenance, cleaning, repair. But as we come down here, you have Reddit. So Reddit is basically telling us, okay, these are people that are looking for information generally either about pool cleaning services. They're looking for a pool cleaner recommendation. You should always look up these in your local market. So let's just do Dallas pool cleaning. Okay, so people are searching this if they live in Dallas. We scroll down. What pool service do you recommend? This is in Plano for weekly maintenance and chemicals. Put your business right there. There's a little tip. Um, same thing with these ones. If you're able to put your business on anywhere there. So here's another one within Dallas. Dallas pool cleaner recommendations. I think that's the same one that was right here. Yep. So put your, your business there. Maybe you try to upvote it. Get your friends to upvote it. And doing that simple it will get people to actually find your business as well. So another way to, to make sure that you're getting as much as you possibly can out of your business. So I highly recommend doing that. But ultimately what you're trying to do is you're trying to find these keywords, these high intent search keywords based on the landing pages you're sending traffic to for the actual service you're providing. A quick 30 second promotion. If you like my content, I have a Google ads course available, 21 lessons over 10 hours for $34.99. You can access it by going to surfsidepppc.com slash course. That will give you all the information you need to run successful Google ads campaigns. If you're interested in learning how to drive more leads for your business, join Surfside Inbound. It's $4.99 a month. It's available on Patreon. It's available through my YouTube membership, and you'll get access to all of my premium content, including a five and a half hour inbound marketing course. Thank you. And let's get back to the video. So we come back over here to Google ads and we go into our pool cleaning ad group here. And you can see, I just have one, one keyword in here, a couple different things to look at. Okay. So first things first, I'm using manual bidding for this campaign. If you're just starting, 
with a brand new campaign, you may want to get started with manual bidding. And they're generally going to tell you you're below the first page bid estimate of $4.32. This is generally based on what your quality score is. And Google uses that along with your your actual bid to determine your ad rank. But if they're saying, okay, you need to bid $4.32 to actually get onto the first page of Google, that doesn't necessarily mean you come over here and say, let me just set this to $4.32. Sometimes I'll set it higher than that. Sometimes I'll set it lower than that. Depends on my client's budget and depends on the goals I'm going after. But ultimately what you're trying to find here is like, okay, $4.32, that means if I drive 10 clicks at $4.32, it's gonna, it or turns into a customer. So one lead turns into a customer. You need to ask yourself, and that's kind of the way that I look at this, is that gonna be profitable for my business? Now for a pool cleaning service, that should be profitable. Obviously you're not gonna land every single client, and if you're able to get your cost per conversion much lower, which you can, but a lot of times I try to look at, okay, Let's look at what the bid estimate looks like. And if I have a 10% conversion rate, so one out of every 10 clicks turns into a customer, you can definitely get your conversion rate up to like 20%. You can definitely get your cost per click lower. You're looking at the initial for what to expect from this specific keyword, this specific service you're providing. And then what you wanna do is find additional keywords that you're targeting. So we click on the plus sign here. Google has a built-in keyword tool right here. So you can take your landing page and we'll copy this landing page. They'll read the content on the page. They also pull these up pretty well, but they'll read the copy on the page and we'll click on enter. And you'll see right here, pool cleaning, not what you wanna target. Best pool cleaner, not what you wanna target. Pool care, not what you wanna target. So there's a lot of things here you do not wanna target. Pool cleaning services, a little bit broad, but definitely something I would target, pool cleaning services as a phrase match keyword. It's one of those ones I'd rather get some data in. If it doesn't convert, we could always add this as an exact match negative keyword, but this should be a very relevant keyword for us. I've always found that somebody's searching like, pool cleaning near me, pool cleaning, and in my case, I'm serving Myrtle Beach and South Carolina and Charleston. So the best keywords are gonna be things like pool cleaning service. That's why I started this with just pool cleaning service, hundreds of different search terms. So you don't need to really worry about that too much about, okay, do I have enough keywords that I'm targeting? You want the highest search intent keywords. I generally use phrase match for the most part. Broad match can be really good if you have a really good negative keyword strategy, if you're staying on top of your negative keywords all the time, and you have very good conversion data in, and you have a large budget. If you are basically don't have all three of those things, I highly recommend using phrase match keywords. If you're just getting started with a brand new campaign, I am not opposed to using exact match keywords and making sure that the key, the search terms you have coming in are as relevant as possible as you build up your conversion data. Exact match keywords could just be very limiting in terms of volume. The other thing to keep in mind is I generally use the same the same match type throughout an entire campaign. I think I have one broad match keyword in this campaign just as an example to show you keyword matching. So in this case, I would recommend using phrase match keywords and using high search intent phrase match keywords. So I would probably start this not using a keyword like this. I would probably be doing things like pool cleaning near me. So some of these types of keywords could potentially use pool cleaning services. So local pool cleaning services I like. Just keep in mind, you're targeting local pool cleaning services. This will target something if you're using it as a phrase match keyword, especially if I'm targeting Charleston, for example. Somebody types in Charleston pool cleaning services. Google's gonna say, okay, then is a local keyword. So it's very hard to determine which exactly your keywords, especially phrase and broad match keywords, which search terms they're going to target. And you're not going to be able to see every single search term. But these are some of the search terms that are keywords that I would start with just to make sure that I'm targeting those high search intent keywords like pool cleaning services near me. What would you type in if you needed pool cleaning services? That is what you should target here. So go through all of these keywords and you can see things, residential pool cleaning services. So we can add that one. Things like this, pool maintenance, weekly pool maintenance, anything like that, a lot of times I will put that into a pool maintenance ad group. So I do have a separate pool maintenance ad group, separate pool maintenance landing page, and that is how you would wanna handle that keyword. So we keep coming down here, pool cleaning services in my area. So that should be pretty good for now. And then re really to take it a step further, if you're trying to get the most out of your campaign, you should separate out your landing pages by location. So if I'm targeting Charleston and Myrtle Beach, instead of putting all of these into one landing page, which you can do for now, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, pool cleaning services, Myrtle Beach, and then pool cleaning services, Charleston, if I could type. Okay, so we do that, we click on save. 
that takes those and puts them all down here as phrase match keywords. If you see this not eligible, low search volume, then just take out services, pool cleaning, Myrtle Beach, and there you go. Now this will actually match. If you see that low search volume, that means you're not gonna get any impressions for that keyword. So sometimes when you type them in manually like I did, you'll get low search volume. Pool cleaning Myrtle Beach is a perfectly good keyword. Same thing with Charleston. If the services works and it's not low search volume, then I'd rather have it be higher search intent. As this goes under review, we should eventually be able to see what we should expect for the average first page bid estimate. From there, you wanna create ads that are highly targeted to exactly what you're trying to focus on. So pool cleaning services, Aqua Bliss Care, contact us today. Schedule your pool cleaning services, contact us, whatever it may be. Coming down here, if you wanna take this a step further, pool cleaning Charleston, pool cleaning Myrtle Beach. Instead of putting it all into one ad group, a lot of times the way I structure it is this ad group has the near me keywords, this ad group has the specific location keywords. So if you're running one campaign in multiple cities, um, you can then you can actually gear your advertisement towards that specific keyword that you're targeting, and you can send them to a landing page on your website and if we come back over here, this is ultimately the structure you want to get to. So you'll see right here, location, Charleston pool cleaning. That is really where you want to get to. And then you have Charleston pool cleaning services. Charleston pool cleaning services at Aqua Bliss Care. So obviously I don't have those landing pages all built out right now, but that is going to help you not only with your SEO, but also with your paid advertising campaigns. And then within this ad group, when you're targeting your search keyword, you could basically just put one keyword in there and do pool cleaning services, Charleston, or maybe two pool cleaning, Charleston SC, something like that. Those two keywords will match hundreds of search terms. And then you know that you're giving people the best possible user experience, a relevant ad, a relevant landing page, and the keyword, the search term, everything matches up as closely as possible. That is keyword targeting in Google ads. Thank you for watching. If you want access to all of my long form tutorials and some of my courses that I've created that I'm only putting out on Surfside Inbound, you can join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound. It is only $4.99 per month. You can also join through my YouTube channel. So through the Surfside PPC YouTube channel from any of my videos, if you click on join, you will get instant access to all of my premium content, including my inbound marketing course, which is five and a half hours long. I just published it to Patreon and YouTube. So join today if you're interested in more of my content at patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound or by clicking the join button on any of my YouTube videos. Thanks for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe.